What is up, Trouble Art Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news! Is Natalie and Todd Smith from the Vlog Squad dating? We reached out to David Dobrik to find out. He gave us a statement. We're going to get into that, but also Mr. Beast is suing someone we're gonna get into that too but first we need to talk about the beloved pranksters here on youtube the nelk boys getting some hate from their own fans over the weekend the mainstream media took a crack at nelk calling them out for having all these parties during a pandemic and while all these articles resulted in nelk getting a, like a little bit of hate not that much but then nelk said that they were gonna have 905 on their show on Monday. Now, for those of you that don't know, 905 was like their cameraman back in the day, and he got kicked out of Nelk because he was sending pictures of his eggplant to girls who didn't want it at all. But the Nelk fan base has been asking for 905. They want to see like an update with him, what he's up to. So Monday hits, and Nelk uploads a video titled The Return of 905 Shooter. And as you can see, this video got over a hundred thousand dislikes. This is very uncommon for Nelk. Now, here's the thing, like, Nelk clickbaited. Like, 905 was not in this video. They had this segment or this skit where they were trying to find somebody to replace 905, so the fans were mad about the clickbait. But also, they launched, like, a new $20 a month to watch exclusive Nelk content. And so, a lot of people that can't afford that were just upset, because it's like, now there's going to be all this Nelk stuff that a lot of the fans just can't afford to watch. Many fans are furious, saying that Nelk sold out. Nelk responded on Twitter by saying this. We're only here because of you boys. Criticism noted. See you next Monday. So, we'll have to wait until Monday to see how Nelk responds to some of the hate from the fans. And we'll keep you updated with that. Also in the news, FaZe Jarvis, okay? He got 18 million views uploading a video crying that he got banned on Fortnite. The kid's been blowing up ever since. And a lot of people want to see him back on Fortnite. They want Fortnite to unban him. Over the weekend, a bunch of pros got caught cheating and they weren't even penalized for this, which caused a hashtag known as hashtag free Jarvis, which started trending in the United States states putting pressure on epic games fortnite to unban jarvis jarvis's brother phase k tweeted out i had a dream last night showing a tweet we made the executive decision to unban jarvis from our platform fortnite but unfortunately that is still just a dream he has not been unbanned also in the news speaking about dreams uh i've seen some uh, a lot of clickbait here on youtube a ton of it but this one takes the cake. The Dobrik twins uploaded a video that uh, one of them is pregnant. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what is <laughs> Also in the news, Logan Paul is putting out a challenge. Logan Paul tweeted out $10,000 to any influencer who can beat me in a wrestling match. Now, a few people responded. A few influencers were like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. But, you know, none of that was as interesting as this response from Tifu's ex-girlfriend and actually Logan Paul's ex-girlfriend, Karina. She responded by saying, okay, I'll give it a go. And that's when Logan Paul's girlfriend, Josie, responded, probably not. Karina said, it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that deep. Okay. <laughs> so look, maybe we're going to get a Josie and Karina wrestling match. Uh, I, 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 I support that. And speaking about Logan Paul, his brother, Jake Paul, has been under fire, being raided by the FBI, all the stuff that's going on with him. Like, it's insane. He just recently very strangely unfollowed everybody on Instagram. Now, a lot of people are suggesting that he did this because there were a lot of inappropriate conversations with him and females on Instagram. I don't know, that's just a rumor, that's just speculation. But he is still following two accounts. Jake Paul is still following Mike Tyson and the FBI. Also in the news, the Hype House is getting a little bit of hate for uh, selling some jewelry. That's right, the Hype House came out with the Hype House chain that apparently is a $100 chain that they're giving away for free. Silver plated, it has a 20 inch chain, it's a solid pendant with 
Simulated diamond. Sim simulated diamond. All the hype chains are free. Just pay shipping and handling. And we've seen this scam from multiple influencers in the past. The free items, the shipping and handling is super expensive. And the shipping and handling on this chain is $20. And speaking about free, Mr. Beast is mad at these people for trying to give away free PlayStation gift cards with his face. That's right, guys. We report this multiple times here on Dromler that these companies out there are doing these giveaways and these scams using YouTubers' faces to, like, sell the products or whatever. Mr. Beast responded on Twitter saying, if you see this ad, it is not me. I've been getting tons of tweets about it and it's a scam. I will only mention giveaways on my verified accounts. If it is not verified, it is not me. Yeah, Mr. Beast has been dealing with this a lot, but it didn't end there. He goes on to say, Beast cards or whoever the hell you are, stop scamming my fans or I will walk into a lawyer's office and hand him $100,000 and say, figure out some way to sue the crap out of this company. I don't know how legal stuff works, but I'll throw every dollar I have at it. Woo! Okay. I would not want to get into a legal battle with Mr. Beast. Also in the news, Ellen DeGeneres. Now, guys, I don't know if you know this, but for like the last couple of weeks, everyone's been saying that the Ellen is done. Her show is going to get canceled. I don't know all the details, but basically it's a toxic work environment there. And Ellen was caught being rude to people. And I don't know. Just basically all these people, guests, people behind the scenes, people that work for her are coming out saying Ellen's a horrible person. And these rumors are starting that her show is going to be canceled. So Adam22 had this to say. Get rid of Ellen and replace her with Trisha Paytas. Trisha responded by saying less problematic. Could you picture the Ellen show with Trisha Paytas? And speaking of the queen of being problematic, Trisha Paytas, the other day, okay, she uploaded like 30 videos all at once with her and her ex-boyfriend, Jason Nash. Now, if you guys don't know this backstory, the two of them dated, they broke up, and it was just ugly when they broke up. Trisha has been going after the vlog squad ever since, trying to expose them on every little thing. So it was just shocking that she uploaded all this old content out of the blue. No one really knows why. I asked her on Twitter, got no response. I, I don't know. But speaking about the vlog squad, Natalie posted a picture of her and Todd Smith having a romantic picnic on the beach, causing everyone to assume that the two of them are together. So I had to reach out to David Dobrik, see what he had to say about this, because like this has been an ongoing thing that these two might be dating, might not be. I reached out to him saying, is Natalie and Todd Smith together on or off record? I don't care. He responded by saying, I have no effing clue. I wish I knew myself. So even David Dobrik doesn't know if these two are dating. I mean, this is just strange. But another thing I got to tell you about is the kid Lee Roy, one of the most popping rappers right now. We had him on our podcast. We asked him some tough questions. You got to listen to it only on Spotify over on Mom's Basement. You got to hear it. The link is in the top description on YouTube. If you're on Snapchat, download Spotify. Look for the Mom's Basement podcast and listen to this episode. It is hot. And before we go here, guys, if you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all the news going on in the community, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. Because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop.